Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. And in today's video, I've got some really exciting news. So Volkswagen have got scheduled for production later in 2022, both the passenger and cargo version of the ID Buzz that was first shown around about four years ago as a concept with that fantastic retro styling that we're probably all familiar with. But in the last few days, they've just announced they're gonna confirm production for an ID Buzz California, which is amazing news. Stay tuned and I'll tell you as much about it as I know over the next few minutes. Oh, and remember to hit the button to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's find out all about it. So if you're new around here, my name's JT. Thank you for taking the time to tune in. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. And today I've got some exciting news about a new model that Volkswagen have just announced. So for a long time Volkswagen denied any likelihood of the ID Buzz being developed as a campervan version. I would imagine that there's been a number of reasons for that. Um, cost, space, it's not necessarily a huge looking vehicle. Um, certainly no bigger than the current uh, T6 that I'm talking to you from now by all accounts. Most recently, the rumours and fairly accurate information coming from Germany itself was that there was going to be a standalone uh, California camper van co-developed with Ford in the tie-up uh, that Volkswagen uh, signed up to a few years ago where they were going to co-develop alongside Ford Commercial for the next platform of mid-size commercial vehicles. So that would be uh, transit size and transporter size and then moving up through the range to the larger sort of crafter size vehicles. So classic uh, example of cost sharing, platform sharing and we've already seen that with the new Caddy uh, being developed in conjunction with Ford and sharing a lot of components uh, in conjunction with the latest uh, small Ford van. So for a long time it was denied that there was ever going to be, despite how cool it would be, a California or a camper version of the idea does. But just this week, in the last couple of days, we've had information confirmed from the directors of Volkswagen that it's going to happen, which is amazing news. Now, for those of you who've been following my channel for a little while, um, have probably seen that over the last few months, we've considered options to look at something to replace our California beach. So who knows? Maybe the ID Buzz could be something, but there's a few things that I need to run through first just to tell you all about it, and then we'll find out whether it might be suitable for us. But stay tuned and let me just run through the latest information hot off the press. So some near production ready uh, teaser photos of the cargo version of the ID Buzz have been released in the last few weeks. Got this amazing sort of uh, rainbow um, camouflage on it but this is the cargo based version which is going to hit the roads first later on in 2022. So yesterday or in the last couple of days the supervisory board in Volkswagen confirmed that there will be a California camper version of the ID Buzz and it will arrive towards the end of the decade. Now we're in 2022 at the 2021, late 2021, call it 2022. I think realistically, we're probably looking at around about 2027 for the California camper version to arrive, maybe a touch before. But that means it's almost 10 years since the concept was originally shown. Now, vehicles take a long time to develop, but 10 years? Volkswagen? Really? I mean, this is an amazing looking vehicle and you know that well, as soon as that vehicle hits the road, you're going to be taking orders left, right and centre. It's going to sell like hotcakes. So I can't believe that it's really going to take that long. But 
Maybe that comes down to the development. One thing that they've said is that it's going to be pure electric. It's going to be built in Hanover, uh, which is the um, sort of customary home of where all the transporters have come from recently. And it's going to have do some platform sharing with other models in the range as well. I think there's going to be crossover with the platform and the batteries and the motors with the sister brand. So Audi and maybe even Bentley along the way. But you know who knows, because it's a large platform and obviously there's pressure for everything to be electrified in the near future. So the ID Buzz California is going to be based on the MEB platform that Volkswagen have developed. And it's going to be obviously keep as much of the iconic 1950s style from the concept as possible and clearly will have a pop top like the existing California range. Um, they're talking at the moment of a range of battery size ranging from 48 kilowatt hours up to 111 kilowatt hours. This will give a range with the largest battery of in the region of 340 miles. Now, just remember that. With a California, you're going to have a lot of other items on board. So by the time you add in your beds, your pop top, your sink, your cooker, all of those other things add weight. And what really impacts on electric vehicle range? It's weight. So fingers crossed there's going to be an improvement in battery technology, which will mean that the range stays at circa 340 to 400 miles. So certainly for us, when we're taking our camper van journeys and adventures across Europe, you know, potentially we can do two, three hundred miles just in a single stretch on a trip. So we need to know that we had good range from from a vehicle, a car that is designed to take us on long distance trips to explore the world. So 340 miles, I think, is a bit tight. I think we need to be aiming for 500. But let's hope battery technology is going to help us get to that. So one of the other key things which may help with regard to the range issue is the rapid charging. So the new MEB platforms are set up to cope with rapid charging. So if we've got a battery system that can take an 80% charge in let's say 20 minutes, 30 minutes, um, whilst you're out and about, then that may overcome the complications of uh, not such a great range. So fingers crossed if we can't increase the range, Volkswagen have got the rapid charge element nailed as well. The Like the other ID models in the range, there'll be a single and a dual motor version, so effectively a two-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive version. And again, like the other ID models in the range, you, as you work up the range, you'll get your, a bigger battery, more power, and then the additional drive variations as well of either two- or four-wheel drive. But I expect with all of these, whilst you'll be able to get these variations, the price will escalate as well. So you can imagine yeah, a four-wheel drive, large motor, California with all the bits and pieces is probably going to be nudging 90,000 euros, maybe 100,000. Yeah, that's probably certainly 70, 80,000 pounds. Now, it'd look great, but is that going to price it out for a lot, a lot of people, especially if it's going to be a smaller van? Now, if you follow the market and trends with camper vans, you can't fail to have noticed that Volkswagen's range of Californias has increased dramatically over the last two or three years. So from having one, possibly two versions of the California, we now got the Grand California and a couple of deriver derivatives. We've got three versions of the California with the beach, the coast and the ocean in the UK. And then recently it's been joined by the Caddy California as well, the baby sister of all of them. So you've got, so we've got one, for certainly six different versions of the California, which is fantastic if you're into camper vans like I am. But this is a real, um, the increased demand and desire for these recreational vehicles. So in the last couple of years, you know, we've had a big shift thanks to coronavirus of people wanting to change the way that they holiday, change the way that they use their spare time. And camper vans have become hugely popular. So Volkswagen are tapping into that and they've extended their opportunity to supply as many different markets as possible. And there is a drive and a push. We've got to go towards full electric in most new vehicles um, in most markets. So the ID Buzz Electric California, whilst they denied it for a long time, lots of people felt it was always inevitable. And as I said, Volkswagen just confirmed that it's going to happen. 
Now, for a while, there was a debate as to whether the new T7 multivan, which is coming uh, to the UK and I guess Europe over the next few months, uh, was going to have a camper version. But again, Volkswagen have said that that's probably not going to happen. So the T7 multivan is really a people carrier, a large car vehicle. That's what it's designed to do. So the ability to carry seven people in comfort and have the latest technology. The factory is going to continue in Hanover to produce that new model. Alongside that, the last versions of the T6, T6.1, uh, which is being um, rolled out. And I imagine production on those is going to continue for probably the next two to three years of the existing California model. They're not going to um, cancel that model or stop production of California version of that. But I think reality is the current version of the T6.1 will continue for another three, maybe four years, whilst we wait for the ID Buzz California to arrive. So where does that leave our decision? Well, as I said, if you've seen our recent videos, and there's a link up here, then we've been looking at really going for something slightly larger than our California. So based on all the reviews that I've read and the news reports about the current ID Buzz and the cargo version especially and how that stacks up next to the T7 multivan and then how the multivan stacks up to the Calif California, our existing T6 California, it doesn't look like any of those give much of a space advantage over what we've got currently. So I still think regrettably in the short term we're going to have to look at, if we want to get something bigger, something a little bit different. So maybe that's the Grand California Maybe they can do like a beach version of the Grand California. There's an idea, Volkswagen. So something that isn't quite as fancy, is not is perhaps a little bit more pared back, but give me a larger van with practical sleeping accommodation for four people, practical passenger travelling accommodation for four people, around about £60,000, and I think you'd be onto a winner. Maybe that's going to come. You heard it here first. It's a really exciting van that's coming through, and I think it's great news that Volkswagen have decided to confirm production of the ID Buzz electric. So we've just got to wait now for, let's hope it's not as long as four years, but, or even five years. Let's hope it's two or three years, but no doubt there'll be a long queue for it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to hit the button to like and subscribe and follow our journey here on 